I can tell you how many times I just came to our kitchen just opening up cabinets and drawers because I've been in awe of how much improvement we've made in this kitchen just by decluttering, organizing, adding organizational items. I think everybody should do it <laughs> because it really is helpful and it's not much of a headache after you get rid of so much stuff that you realize you don't even need or use anymore. This has been long overdue. It has been long overdue. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Catherine and on this channel I share easy DIYs, home, and encouraging messages through a creative form. And I'm so happy that y'all are here. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> the last time that we were in this kitchen, I did a massive decluttering where we got rid of over 50% of our stuff. And I solely focused on decluttering in that video because I found it very overwhelming to do anything else. So if you are just now chiming in, welcome to the Clutter My Rental series, basically where we declutter and clean our apartment. We have had so much stuff over the past couple of years that we never got a chance to go through it, touch every item, and things just started to pile up. And it became very overwhelming. So I decided to create this series. So not only are you gonna be watching me clean the clutter, but I'm gonna be sharing helpful tips organizational solution for small spaces. Overall, just encouraging you to declutter your space free of guilt, how to have a clutter-free home, and so much more. And we are on episode four. Yes, we are on episode four. So if you wanna catch up, I left a link down below in the description box where you can click on it and watch this entire series. Definitely give this video a thumbs up throughout the video if you are enjoying it. And if you have not done so, definitely hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're aware when another video comes out in this series. So now that we are about to organize the majority of this kitchen, the very first thing I had my husband help me with is moving the shelf so that we can maximize the space. Thinking about adding a lot of my hosting items to our upper cabinets because I do use them, but not as frequently, but they take up so much space and our smaller cabinets are a lot more narrow. So I think I can get most of out of that space if everything is upright. And we do have a stepping stool that I can use to get up there. So that's not gonna be an issue. And these shelves were not easy to detach and reattach for some strange reason. So my husband was definitely a trooper helping me through this process. So this is attempt number one of trying to organize this one large bottom cabinet. What I think happened prior to the cluttering was that we gained so much space back and I tried to figure out the best solution to keeping my pots, pans, skillets, and tops together. This was important for us for a smoother flow in the kitchen. However, while rearranging and organizing, it caused a domino effect of emptying out one cabinet and replacing kitchenware in another, and stuff was everywhere due to a thorough rearranging process. And there will be many attempts before landing the best organizational solution for your space. <laughs> Don't fret, because you're gonna see me come back to this cabinet later on and try it over and over again. This lid holder is an incredible storage organizational item and it has all of our lids. I wanted to make sure that that was gonna be in the same cabinet as our larger pots and pans and skillets. So we literally been back and forth at 6.30 right now because I just wanted to run an idea past him. And I'm gonna go back and actually get a stand so that the skillets can be on top and we can probably add a pot underneath it. So the next day I decided to go back to the store and pick up a couple of more organizational storage items and this time around I did something that there's an old saying that my mom used to say better to have it than not need it than need it to not have it. So I picked up more than one of the same item that were just different sizes to see what works best in our space. I just got back in from returning, exchanging, and buying new things. He likes to stand right behind me. One of the things I couldn't figure out while I was in the container store is which one was gonna fit under my cabinet, even though I measured it, just because we're thinking about putting skillets on top of it and then pop underneath it to have more space. Like right off the back, the one from Home Goods is $4.99, the least expensive one here, but it also only comes in one size. This one extends, so it's the most expensive one, but I like the option to extend it if needed. This one's a little higher, but it's also longer. And this one is narrower than the rest of them. So they all provide something different. It's just a matter of preference and what we're going for. This one will fit under there. 
the whole point was to try to get more under here. Ooh, yes, this is storage because this pot is just so big. Picking up a variety of cabinet shelves came in handy because our pots and pans and skillets are different sizes. So some of them will work with one of the cabinet shelves and others won't. So it was a lot of adjusting happening. I'm also realizing that I may not be able to get everything in this cabinet like I want to. But luckily I bought those pads that go in between the dishes so I knew I was gonna do some stacking. This is a game changer. And you just put them between each pan and I like that look like a star. So no matter what type of pan you have, most likely it's gonna sit on top of the felt. So I have this clever idea, y'all, to use the under shelf basket for kitchen towels. It's originally used for plates and bowls to maximize the space under your shelf. But I needed to get rid of our drawer that had the tea and medicine together. And in order for me to do that, I had to alleviate the towels in one drawer because they were just stuffed in there. It didn't make sense to have them in there. And so I thought that the best way to do that was to put those towels in that under basket shelf. That way the medicine drawer can have its own space and then my tea can move to where the towels were originally. I'm slowly moving away from bag tea. The only two that I currently drink is green tea with mint and chai tea. And I actually put those inside of our canisters that's on our counter. I didn't get any organization item for it because I'm moving away from bag tea and I don't have that much tea to begin with. Any dishes that I use to cook or for ingredients and stuff is gonna go into this cabinet. I went back and forth just trying to make this make sense in my head. So I've decided to dedicate the larger cabinet that I'm currently standing in front of to my larger porcelain dishes that I cook with throughout the seasons. And then the other cabinets are going to be dedicated to all of my mugs. My husband's gonna have his little nook. That way it just makes sense when we're cooking and operating in the kitchen. I just want everything to flow because when you're in the middle of cooking, you're not trying to think about where something is. I want this to be such a smooth transition for us. I don't even know how happy I am right now. That gives me more space. And these doors can close. It's a little thing, y'all. It is a little thing. This wire divider is incredible. It is meant to sort your pots and pans, plates, cooking ware, whatever. And we had the issue for years now trying to sit our place inside of these cabs and the door never fully closing. Now that I figured out a much better solution. Y'all, look at this. So this is the little magazine rack. So they can fit in both of them. This is gonna be like my baking area. I like where this is going. And this rack actually can hold up three times the amount. So this is very useful. We are moving on up. We finally got us a drawer organizer for our utensils and it's a game changer from here. You're gonna eventually see that I add on a smaller tray to the side. I actually went back out and got this one because I needed something just for our, you know, miscellaneous items. Everybody have those items in the kitchen. You need them, but they just don't have a proper place to go. So this will be considered our junk tray except we're gonna utilize it for actual utensils. So when we do have a junk, we can put it in there. Finally getting around to this cabinet, which I'm calling our equipment cabinet. To keep it in a box or not to keep it in a box. So excited to use this pumpkin maker again. Okay, so I went back and changed it for the third time. After decluttering expired seasoning, I put in the front what I typically use and what we're almost out of, and then so forth. After an hour and a half, maybe even more, of trying to organize this one large cabinet, 
I'm impressed. So in this portion of the video, we are going to go through all the cabinets and drawers that we originally decluttered came back to organize include storage items so that we can see what the final reveal looks like now that it's a month later and some of these items are still being used and or in our sink or the dishwasher so i'm going to put up a side by side so that you all can see exactly how far we've come and you can see the before and after because there is a drastic difference this is our seasoning cabinet this is what it looked like before a lot of expired seasoning. There was no type of storage solutions. Um, there was no organization to it. The only organizational item that I've used in this cabinet is this wire seasoning rack. And that is because, as you can tell, we already have ample amount of space in here. We have so many shelves. And so I organized it with our seasoning at the bottom. And with this rack, it allowed me to bring my oils down here right next to it. Our baking area, extra salt, pepper, panko plain crumbs, and then of course that random bottle of peanut butter again. My issue with this wire rack is that you still can't see what seasoning you have. What plays a part in this issue is that our cabinets are quite high. Another issue that I have is that there aren't any ridges on here. So if you try to go all the way to the back to pull a seasoning, it just pushes all the other seasoning forward. It can become problematic over time if you just trying to cook and grab seasoning and everything else fall and slides off. Just keep that in mind if you are looking for a seasoning rack. I'm so proud of this little drawer. It wasn't bad to start off with, but um, we did get rid of a lot of our silverware before. And this is what it looks like after. Y'all look at all these gold utensils, okay? We move it on up in here. Yes, and then in the back are our oven mitts. In this cabinet, you remember when we were just risking it all and our porcelain dishes were just like leaning up against each other. I don't, I, I still can't believe we were living that way. <laughs> this is what it looks like after. So this cabinet here was dedicated to all of our baking and cooking ware. I absolutely love because it's so spacious, but at the same time, it literally housed all of those big cutting boards, pans, pizza pan. This cabinet, which is probably one of my favorite ones because it housed all of my mugs, this is what it looked like before. It was organized, but we definitely needed to declutter inside of here because we just had way too, I had way too many mugs <laughs> and cups and stuff, so I needed to narrow it down. So I ended up taking all of our mugs, our seasonal mugs, and putting them in one cabinet. This makes me so happy. It just puts a big smile on my face. First row is all of my tea cups, tea pots, and I use them on a daily basis. So everything down here, I've used it since the clutter in this kitchen, which I did add one new item. This is my mug that I got from Chicago. Y'all, the pride that I have for Chicago. And it's dishwasher and microwavable safe. Thank you, Starbucks. Based off the season or the holiday that we're currently in or will be going in, I organize it that way. So from the most used to the least used, this row is all of my fall mugs that I will be pulling out very soon. All the way at the top are all of my Christmas mugs and then there's a Valentine's Day mug. And then at the very, very top is all of our summer mugs. I did not use any organizational items for this because again, we have a lot of cabinet space. It was just a matter of getting rid of stuff to make things fit. Now that they're all in one cabinet, it's easier for us to know what we have. Let me stop saying we. It's easier for me <laughs> to see what I have. And this cabinet, we just had a lot of stuff going on. I don't even know what was happening in this cabinet. It was a lot of random stuff and it just needs to be organized. The wire divider that I use in my bacon cabinet, I also went back and bought another and used it inside of this cabinet. This is what I'm talking about. I get passionate. This is what I'm talking about when I say how to organize in small space. This is a small space hack. Okay, let me stop talking so y'all can see it. Let's start down here, y'all. These are all the places that we decided to keep. For the meantime, this is where our bowls will be housed. I love this idea of having our plates sitting up because when they were in this cabinet, the door couldn't even close. I stacked all the plates on top of each other and it was just hard trying to get to them. Now, I literally just grab a plate and go about my business. It's so easy. And then I still have space to add more if we happen to get more plates. We have his ninja, his ninja cups, and then all of his mugs. And I decided to turn them around so that when he grabs it, with his right hand, he can just literally grab it and then go to his coffee station and make his coffee. 
we have one more cabinet at the top that is empty we have four items on here so we have well over enough space we just needed to declutter to gain a lot of this space back i love all these cabinets but i think i like this one because of the pops of color that's in it and it was not intentional but you remember what this one was before it couldn't even the door couldn't even close it wasn't messy but it was just very unorganized this is where the majority of our porcelain dishes, the larger ones that I use during, throughout the holiday season, reside. My husband and I both agree that we love our dish towels, drying off towels right here in this under the shelf storage, which is so helpful. And this is what I mean when it gives you extra shelving, extra storage, because this is empty storage underneath here. Everything that we are grabbing on a daily basis to what we grab less of but we still use. I know I said each one of them was my favorite for their own reason, but this one is just so pretty. So I'm just really excited to just come into this cabinet and it's practical. We are finally coming down to the last couple of cabinets. This drawer was our medicine drawer and it did have my tea mixed in with our medicine. It needed its own space. So after decluttering and I cleaned it, I actually didn't go back and do anything to it because it just worked well being organized. So since the last time you guys saw it, I did have packages of tea left, but I completely made this entire drawer bags of tea from like small businesses. End up adding even a new tea strainer. Y'all, I'm gonna do a whole video about tea, tea strainers and stuff, because let me tell you something. Things that people don't talk about for your tea. This is gonna be a whole other video, but just know I went through it all and that's how I end up narrowing down all my tea essentials. And these, I got them from Home Goods in spring and I have the medium one and then this still house is my dog treats. Oh, I almost forgot in my haul video, do y'all remember the wooden scoops? I finally got them and put it inside of here and it fits in the larger one. Actually fits in all three of them, which is super convenient. But yeah, my husband is so happy to finally have a way of scooping out his coffee, so. In this cabinet, it was super overwhelming. Like you couldn't even get to the back. You have to move stuff to get there. This is what it looks like now. It has our popcorn bowl, our salad bowls, pasta bowl, a trick-or-treating bowl, mixing bowls. So it's just super helpful to have one area dedicated to just all bowls. I, however, have gone out and got an extra bowl. Don't judge me, y'all. I just, I just, I couldn't. We actually have a real popcorn bowl. And this is actually from Hallmark, y'all. So it's a, it's a beautiful day to watch Hallmark Channel. How stinking cute is this? As a side note, I really do appreciate you guys who leave a comment, who give me a thumbs up, who say, like, Kathy, you like this video? This was helpful because it really helps my channel. It pushes my video out and YouTube introduces it to new people because they see that action is taking place over here. So thank you all so much for subscribing, liking it, commenting. It really does help out my channel. How much has changed in this cabinet? It's still exactly the same. The solution to this was light item needed to stay together and it just needed to be neat and tidy. Having a drawer organizer is so helpful. It's nothing worse than being in the middle of cooking and you can't find the utensil that you need to cook with. And this is what it looks like after. The first thing that we just have to point out is that we actually have a place for our pizza cutter now. I went to the container store and just bought an individual bamboo tray and it fits really well next to the larger one. Can't even tell they don't go together. Just basically kept everything together. All of it now has a place. I know I mentioned before that I was gonna take out the cookie cutters, but we're literally about to go into the holiday season. So I am gonna keep them right here for now, but just having all of this organized because this is what we usually use a lot. Everything else in the back is rolling pins, some like birthday candles, some reusable straws that I'm using. And we still have a measuring cup because I am reminding myself that we need to get new ones. Cause this is a process and it takes time. Of course, I saved the best for last because it took me over two days, several hours to just get this cabinet right. <sighs> I'm not even gonna waste y'all time no more. This is what it looks like before. <laughs> a hot mess. And this is what it looks like now. This has been long overdue. It has been long overdue. End up being the extended rack that I went with. Cabinet has all of our pots, pans, skillets, and tops in one area, which was my goal. It looks so simple now, it looks so simple, but it took forever. So how I did this was I put all of our tops at the top left, all skillets or pots that have a handle on this side, all larger pots 
on this side and then a colander. And I turn them sideways for more space, but also when we need them, we can literally just pull them out, which is also why I have the handle sticking out everywhere else. Matching tops with the matching pots are also in this cabinet. I, again, can't tell y'all how convenient this has been. Simpler on our lives as we're cooking, um, not having to scramble through our tops and just having everything in one place. I'm already down here, might as well end the video this way. Thank you all for watching this video. I, again, hope that it just encouraged you, inspired you, and helped you realize the potential that your own kitchen has and gave you new ideas on how to organize. Thank you all so much for following along in this series. It means the world to me. And as always, y'all, I will talk to y'all later.